It's hard enough when a family member dies unexpectedly, but the state's adding insult to injury by tacking on a big hidden charge just to get the body back. News 13's Katie Kim has the story on special assignment. And these are families that woke up one morning and they're receiving a telephone call that their mother, father, brother, sister has died unexpectedly. And it's just a big, dark cloud. But once the shock and grief pass, many New Mexico families receive another blow. The ultimate insult is that somebody's taken their loved one away. When someone dies unexpectedly, which can be anything from a fall or a heart attack at home to a car crash to even murder. The bodies are turned over to the office of the medical investigator to determine the cause of death. Families have no say when the body is taken, sometimes hundreds of miles away to Albuquerque for an autopsy. When the autopsy is done, the body is returned home, but budget cuts in recent years have added insult to injury for families outside Albuquerque. It really was perceived as uh, cruel in many cases. OMI pays for the transport of bodies here to Albuquerque and until recently would also pay to take the bodies back home. But with state budgets tight in the last few years, OMI could no longer afford it. OMI investigates about 6,000 cases each year, a third of all deaths in the state. Of those, about 2,100 bodies come through Albuquerque for a full autopsy. We're a big uh, rural state, and so the population is spread out through the state. It's very costly to transport uh, someone uh, several hundred miles. Chief Medical Investigator Dr. Russ Zumwalt says transporting a body to Las Cruces, for example, costs roughly $500 one way. So two years ago, transporting a body back to local communities became the responsibility of funeral homes. Tim Rivera owns a chain of funeral homes in Santa Fe, Española, and Taos. We bore uh, the brunt of the expenses, but ultimately, I mean, this is a cost at some point that's passed along to families. The charge isn't a big deal for families in Albuquerque, but it is costly to people who live outside the metro area. It was such a shock to us, and it's pretty much unheard of in the rest of the United States. The state legislature really uh, picked on what I think is the most vulnerable, helpless um, citizens. But state lawmakers from both sides of the aisle are planning to make good. Senate Finance Chairman John Arthur Smith says the legislature plans to grant OMI's $260,000 request to reinstate return transport. The deceased uh, loved one in a rural area is just as important as a deceased loved one in an urban area. So uh, we're hopefully we'll be able to take care of this problem. On special assignment, Katie Kim, KRQE News 13. In addition to the money to cover the transport of bodies back to their hometowns, the budget the Senate passed today also includes $300,000 to cover the cost of higher than expected utility bills in OMI's new building in Albuquerque.